Hello world and welcome to That Maker Show with me, Chalkers, your host into everything new in the maker movement. This week we're talking about building houses under three hours, printing food, gigantic neopixel rings and an awesome Kickstarter project. A few weeks ago I told you about Dutch architecture firm Des Architects wanting to 3D print a canal house out of plastic. In Shanghai, Winson Decoration Design Engineering Company are printing with cement and can build 10 houses in under 24 hours. The houses are fairly small at 650 square feet and cost about $4,800 to make. It's quite interesting to see 3D printing bleeding into architecture and that the skills learnt on the desktop are bleeding through there too. The same may be true of the kitchen. Natural Machines have released details on their latest kitchen appliance, a 3D food printer called the Foodini. The printer can be used to print sweet, savoury and fresh food. Examples on their site include cookies, burgers, chocolate, fish and chips, sweet potato hash browns, pizza, ravioli and spaghetti. They're currently kickstarting the Foodini now. Over on the Adafruit blog there's a project that shows you how to use the 60 Neopixel ring as a light source for your macro or close-up shots. The ring comes in four parts to be soldered together. You can 3D print a mount to turn the ring into a camera light. The electronics enclosure fits into any DSLR's hot shoe. Awesome! This week's awesome Kickstarter project is an illuminated Raspberry Pi safe shutdown switch. The switch communicates with the Pi's operating system to tell it to shut down. Once the OS finishes, it stops the power. The project is already funded, so it's a sure bet if you back it, you're going to get it. It's reasonably priced, and what I like about these small projects is that the scope is limited, so generally they don't suffer from the same delays as bigger projects. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for your weekly dose of Mega News.